Hey Natural Divas, it is I, the Naturally Mature One, coming to you with another video. Today's video is going to be discussing the five things I changed this year when it came to my natural hair. But before I get into that topic, I would like to say thank you for subscribing, for sharing, for liking, and commenting on my videos. I try to answer every comment, and if I have not answered a comment, please, I'm sorry, I might not have seen it, I'll go back and check, but I try to answer every comment. Please continue your um, interacting with me, and I want to thank you again for your support. Now, getting to this video, it's going to discuss the five things, in my little cheat sheet, the five things that help with the hair length, I'm sorry, length retention and growth. And um, before I give, I'm going to give you some background because I've probably talked about this before, but my background when it comes to my natural hair is that I started in 09 as a um, natural and here's the I'll try to put a picture in here where I started in 09 I had a very short haircut it was straightened I just got a relaxer and I said I'm not gonna do it anymore and I went without a relaxer so I did that but then in my hair I just got tired of doing hair I just didn't want to do it I became lazy when it came on relaxer relaxed hair so what I did was I wanted to have length I went and got me I went on, you never believe it, I went on Craigslist and met this young lady who had just started out doing weaves and she became very um, well known now for doing weaves. Her name is Deanna, Deanna Owens, and she is called So Natural. She has this great website you need to go on and subscribe. I mean, awesome girl. She gave me the greatest weaves I've ever had. Awesome weaves. Couldn't tell whether it was my hair or not. I wore those weaves from 09 to 010, 11, 12, I think all the way up to 13, 2013, I believe. And either 12 or 13, but I had to stop wearing them because I had an allergic reaction to something. I don't know what was the hair, but something, my scalp just broke completely out and I got two large ball spots on the top of my head, so I had to stop. And during that, I went on and started wearing my hair out. And then, because me wearing my hair out, it had grew so long for being in the weave. And I'm going to put a picture over here, over there, showing you how long it grew. But the only problem I had about that, I was flat ironing my hair all the time. Because I wanted to stay straight like my hair was in the weaves. And during that, it became unhealthy. And having unhealthy hair, my hair just wasn't, I mean, it was flat. It wouldn't give any curls. Uh, it broke off so what I decided to do was go ahead and cut all my hair off again and I did a big chop as much as I could where I didn't look crazy and that's the picture I'm going to put over here and then during that I started from scratch and I let my curl pattern come in and what I did was start twisting my hair um, using perm rods using flexi rods and all those things I could to just have a hairstyle where I had tight curls and that lasted for a while and then I did another big chop and that's going to be a picture right here and that was my last big chop and I just went completely curls that didn't use raws didn't do prime bras nothing I just let my curl pattern just go there and that's how it's been for the past year now so here are the five things I did to help with the lift retention to go from this to that and they are the first thing I did was I stopped being a lazy natural I gave you the background how my hair was I was a lazy natural I made a wash. I may have washed my hair every two to three weeks I may have deep conditioned once a month I didn't trim I didn't do anything to my hair I was just lazy but then I changed my thought process and said Del for your hair to be healthy you're gonna have to take care of it so I start washing my hair weekly I start deep conditioning my hair weekly I started just taking good care of my hair and so I stopped being a lazy natural. Um, the second thing I did was trims. I would brought me some um, professional scissors, hair scissors, and I only trim my hair every three to six months. At first I would straighten my hair and then cut the dead part it looked like it was to me, but now I don't straighten my hair at all. I will get my hair and if I see there's a knot that's like I'm getting a lot of knots or the hair at the end looks it won't curl up or bounce back, I will go ahead and clip it off. I will do that all about every three to six months. 
and it's been working out for me I've noticed that I'm not having as many split ends I'm not having as many um, those little knots anymore so that is working for me so I will get my I say a trim really helped me when I see something ain't going right here I go clip and I just cut it off and keep on rolling but my hair is really um, doing well with the trims uh, the next thing I did was no heat I had I have not put heat I mean intensive heat with a flat iron or a blow dryer in 13 months the last time I did it was November mid-November of 2017 and I just stopped with the heat and I might sometimes sit under my hooded dryer under cool or warm um, heat or I might use my diffuser under cool or warm but I have not been doing intensive heat where I hold it and pull on my hair and all of that and stretch my curls out not doing it anymore and I'm gonna try not to do it for another year I want to do two years without heat I'm gonna try I don't know but I'm gonna try uh, and the fourth one was protect my hair I was not protecting my hair and I don't mean by protective styles I mean I was not protecting my hair I was not sleeping in a satin cap I was not sleeping on a satin um, pillowcase I was not uh, using uh, using being careful when I combed my hair I was just just doing it just comb my hair when it's dry I will pull it up and put it as tight as I can with a ponytail holder and then I realized I was doing more harm to my hair because when your hair is natural it's um out natural girls go through a lot our hair is very delicate and the curls are tight and my hair is very tight and coily I think I have like 4a 3c 4a hair and it's very tight and coily when I so I have to be very careful because my hair breaks off easily. So I've learned to, if I want to use the comb my hair, I have to mist my hair with aloe vera juice or water for my hair to soften up before I start combing it. I have to um, make sure my hair is moisturized. I will use my um, slap cap that I get from Grace Elise, I think it is. I use my different slap caps. I use my satin scarves. I, I use my puff cuff not to pull on my hair. Anything that I use these lovely things I got from a young lady that I use that won't pull on my hair and just you know it's not cotton. So I don't put any kind of cotton wool in my hair. I use either silk or satin. I haven't had the silk or satin lining. So that has been working for me. So I have been put I have really been protecting my hair. And the last and final thing is I had to be patient. I had to be patient. I wanted to have uh last year when I cut all my hair off I wanted to have that hair like mahogany curls or um, natural I me mean, happy girl happy curl happy girl I hope don't get that confused I don't know why happy curl happy girl yes I wanted my hair to be like hers and and juju bead and all those young ladies but I, I I didn't have that I had a short haircut I had my curl my own curl pattern and I just had to be patient with my hair I had to be patient that I mean if I took good care of it it will take good care of me and it will start growing and I would see some lymph retention I would see the growth and that's what I had to do I had to have patience so ladies you're not gonna have that perfect hair like you see with those youtubers like um, mahogany curls or happy curl happy girl you're going to have to just be patient and after a while your hair will be like theirs it will be full it will be where you have your your you can do a wash and go and look like a million bucks but it's going to take some time and it takes a lot of practice it's not a, a sprint it's a marathon you really have to take your time and and get on this this ride of a roller coaster ride when it comes to natural hair I have learned so much in these this year by uh, researching and um, going to hair shows and just talking to cosmetologists or watching YouTube videos where they talk about um, curl patterns and density and uh, porosity and all those things so that has really helped me when it comes to understanding my hair so and the last thing I would say to say was researching I had to research my own um, I did what I thought natural hair was because what I thought natural hair was was totally different when I found out what it was I thought natural hair was oh you just wear your hair out you don't you don't straighten your hair and that's natural no natural hair is where you don't have any chemicals in your hair and you're going by you are wearing your natural grain curl pattern in your hair that's natural you're not processing your hair anymore and that's what I'm not doing I'm not processing my hair anymore so I am so blessed and so happy that this year I have seen the growth I have um, 
enjoyed my hair. I've even enjoyed doing this YouTube channel, sharing my journey with you all. So I would like to thank you all for your love and your support and your guidance because YouTubers, you have guided me. I'm, some of the comments you have told me, some of the things that you all have done and has helped with me. So I thank you and bless you all. I also want to thank those um, wonderful YouTubers like Mahogany Curl and um, Juju Bead and um, Happy Curl, Happy Girl and Soul Child 67 and all the other ones that I watch. Um, Kimberly Sherelle, I think she is. I want to thank you all for um, sharing your journey with us because you have helped me grow when it comes as a natural and as a YouTuber. So I thank you and bless you all. I hope this new year come in where you have an awesome new year going, um, going in. I hope this year, 2018, was a blessing to you and 2019 will be awesome to you. Um, God will give you all that you ask for if you ask for it. Don't be fearful. Have faith in Him and things will be going the way you would like to. Um, he might not do it when you want it, but he will do it. Believe me, I, I know. So, um, thank you again. Remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Uh, remember, if you don't want to know when my next videos come up, just hit the bell. And thank you. If you have any comments, I do have one thing. Please comment what have you gained this year as a natural, if you are a natural. Um, what would you like to change when it comes to being a natural? What I want to do is make sure that I um, stay on this path that I have started and not fall off of it. I want to grow when it comes to my um, chat. Alright guys, I'm back. Something's going on with my camera again. But as I stated, I want to grow when it comes to my channel. And I just want to be productive and be a uh, help to someone when it comes to this natural hair journey. So, um, I just want to say, remember to love hard. Um, laughed often and live in the moments. Smooches.